Hi, Voyager friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body and this is your fourth Fuerte Body break. Wow, four videos in a row. Um, a new record for me. I don't think I've ever posted four YouTube videos in a row. So yay me, tomorrow will be five. Um, what a milestone, what a gift to be able to share. Um, again, just unfiltered, unedited, raw thoughts, feelings, reflections uh, from my day in this moment. It is Thursday. October 26, 7.51 p.m. And I'm feeling really loopy because uh, yesterday, I, like I said in last night's Friday Body Break, I got my COVID booster. I think this is like my fifth COVID booster? Fourth? Fifth. Probably fifth. Because I remember getting a fourth one. Um, anyhow, no matter what number, multiple boosters, loopy, um, but I'm very thankful. But it was so funny because I went through my whole shift at my day job. Like, why do I feel so loopy? I slept really well, according to my Fitbit. I slept, I was in bed by nine and I slept by 10 and then I woke up naturally before my alarm at 6 a.m. So it was like six-ish hours of sleep. I was like, what's happening? Then when I got home from my day job, I was like, this feels like when I got my booster shots before. Um, so it makes sense, but just very thankful to be boosted. Don't forget to get your booster. Uh, stay safe out there. Um, today. On uh, today, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter are just like starting to wipe um, pro-Palestinian content. And so I'm all the more determined to keep these Fuerte Body Breaks going um, so people that watch my content can continue to get um, information again in the description. Uh, I'm going to put resources, educational resources, and people you should be following in order to get um, the latest information from what's happening in Gaza um, and also how to um, find where there are protests, find where there are teach-ins, find where you should donate. And then a new link I'm gonna add, uh, I believe it's called Careers for Humanity. It's really cool. Shout out to Kehlani Bay Area, one of my favorite artists. Um, she has been really amplifying Palestine, which I really appreciate um, as someone um, who, is an artist and like I haven't been really seeing artists that are my faves doing that except for her right now um and Kenta Brunson um actually so thank goodness, my goodness thank goodness um but Keilani posted an Instagram uh they're called careers for humanity and it is a new Instagram that air that are posting um employers that are pro-Palestine and will hire people, uh, especially who have been silenced, intimidated, ostracized, or even um, reprimanded, fired, or asked to step down, or motivated to leave their place of work for speaking up for Palestine. Um, so very cool. I'm uh, very hopeful for continuing to need to pay rent and unfortunately continue to labor under capitalism, but uh, very hopeful that there are 
job listings on there uh, for places who are aligned with the liberation of Palestine. So I will add that to the, again, the description below with the ones that I have been continuing to post again, just using my platform um, and speaking to now 1,028 Forte friends. We are down one, but that's okay. 1,028 of you. I'm so thankful and yes, use the resources below, amplify the voices below uh, so we can collectively support the liberation of Palestine. Um, I've also wanted to uh, start reading affirmations on here. I have an affirmation jar, so I'll start uh, doing that tomorrow. But today I was on campus uh, at my co-teaching gig and they had um, some affirmation cards on the table in the lounge where uh, I also took some insomnia cookies that they had out for the students who are in midterm seasons but I mean as a as a co-teacher for one of the elective classes I'm technically also in midterm season so I took a cookie and then the af an affirmation card that was uh, there too so today I will read this affirmation but tomorrow I will read an affirmation out of my affirmation jar uh, which has a bunch of affirmations that I used to have on my wall next to my door that I would read before I would leave uh, for my day and also before I got um, into bed to end my day. But then like I took them down because they're like a lot. And then I was like hosting guests and I was like, oh, these are like, <laughs> I was like, let me not put all my, my business out there. <laughs> but I mean, I felt really powerful and they were really helpful to read them. So now let me do the opposite and just share the affirmations and manifestations manifestations to the 1,028 Fort friends um, on here. But today I have this one. It says creativity. So cute. A little, a chameleon, yeah? That's, an, that's a chameleon, right? Um, but it's uh, on the other side. It has a butterfly. And it says, no stakes. And the affirmation is, I liberate myself from any notion of stakes, pressure, risk. And enjoy the lightness that comes with fluttering from joy to joy like a creative butterfly. I allow myself to just be and make whatever, whenever, however. In the grand scheme, my world is a tiny piece of space lint, hurtling through infinite blackness where it'll inevitably be crushed by asteroids or swallowed by a black hole. So why should I feel any stress at all? I feel like I took that with me into the today's class and again like i've been saying in the other four to body breaks um just like leaning into the beauty of speaking my truth and maybe that's not gonna come out gracefully maybe <laughs> yeah maybe i'm gonna fumble on my words maybe i'm gonna make a fool out of myself but i spoke my truth um and i meant it I, I said something like encouraging the students to remember that the discomfort they're feeling right now um it's gonna happen um even after especially after they graduate and when they're out in the field and to use that moment in class uh our discussion in class and the rest of the semester to think about the type of social worker that they want to be um and i shared how i even said today um to my supervisor at my other job that i didn't become a social worker and work in two higher education spaces to just not speak up and continue to allow institu institutional violence to thrive um, 
But yeah, and I'm just so really proud of the students in that class today. Um, just like really from everything from the frustrations, the confusion, um, the challenging of the concepts in class. Like I remember when I was there um, and it was that class specifically. Did I say this in the other four to body breaks of how I'm co-teaching this class with basically uh, three of my social work mentors. Um, but my my mentor who um, I took that this specific elective class with, she is the one that really, if I didn't take this class with her and also another class with her, um, an intern for her underneath her other mentee who is like, a peer mentor to me and the best supervisor I've ever had. Um, hopefully she sees this Sunday. <laughs> I love her so much uh, and I love my mentor so much. Truly, if it wasn't for, um, yeah, these classes and for them, I don't think I would have spoken up um, or been brave enough to speak up um, at my current job um and explicitly say that i'm pissed off <laughs> at at the institution's um statements and not not even naming palestine um so yeah it's just i'm taking another moment to p be proud of myself uh, and then also express gratitude um, to have such a support system in my life and to continue to do this work with them. Um, I love this affirmation. <laughs> uh, I promised that I would talk about, <laughs> let me know what background y'all like the most. Uh, I want to show my personality. You can see, oh, look, I cover my mirror. That's another story for another day. Um, just some Filipinos are very superstitious um, and we take in a lot of like anything that will give us like good luck we'll, we'll, if you told us like the, the, if you told us to um, if you told us to cover our mirrors <laughs> it will bring you good luck uh, we'll do it <laughs> my whole family's doing it but I want to show my personality of my apartment but also um, not give too much away about my space. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I hope it does. Maybe, maybe this is the last time I'll, I don't know. Now I'm starting, <laughs> now I'm starting to freak out. I think why I like this unfiltered, um, raw, um, unedited, word vomit of thoughts, feelings, reflections, um, day recaps, um, cause like vlogs, like day vlogs kind of freak me out, especially like, I don't know if like people on the internet, like just like learned my routine and especially like where I live in the city, it's just like really noticeable. Um, and there, there are some, there's some, uh, yeah just like boundaries as a creator i guess so this is a space that you will see um and i'll recap my day as if i'm telling it to you in a conversation um yeah <laughs> okay i am like i said yesterday i'm reading stephanie foo's what my bones know a memoir of healing from complex trauma uh, my mom is like on chapter 24 or something and now I am on chapter 11. I'm really enjoying this book. Um, the, when this was written, the, Stephanie is like 
30, moves to New York, uh, is originally from San Jose. There's just like a lot of nuggets um, to home. And then also just being an Asian woman, um, there's just like a lot. Um, there's a lot of connections there that I'm really appreciating. And I'm also learning a lot from Stephanie. I feel like the biggest thing I'm reading right now, I'm really, I really appreciate how the moments where she recounts like standing up for herself. I feel like me in my life, I stand up for other people. But like when I read the these scenes where she like says explicitly to her boss, like, like you're abusive, I quit, um, this is toxic. And I was like, God damn, I wish, I wish I could go back in time and say that uh, to some people in my life. Uh, and she also had uh, a terrible, terrible father. Um, and so, although triggering for me, what I appreciate in the um, the note in the beginning, uh, the act that does offer a trigger warning and says it's the beginning chapter is talking about her parents are difficult, but um, it does say uh, in the author's note that there is a there is a happy ending, and so I, I yeah again just holding on to that hope, but I I did appreciate in the scenes where she even explicitly says things to her dad um if you ever i i have a driving phobia i don't think i'm ever gonna get my driver's license um and so i really appreciate and another huge connection is just like the the telling of like how what a violent driver her dad was because that's how my dad was um and so there's a scene where she says like like don't ever do this again like it don't risk my life again it's it's terrifying like she like really says that like she hates how he drives and like I I yeah and I think she was I think she was a teenager when she did that um and I wish I wish my teenage self could have said that um to my dad yeah and so there's some there's some inner child work going on when I read this um yeah and I think it's 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 really I think it's no coincidence I don't believe in coincidences I think everything is intentional um yeah I feel like I'm reading this book um, at this time in my life, um, very purpose, it, on purpose, um, and it's important for me, although, like, yeah, I, ha I did not speak up to my dad like that when I was young, or I've never gotten to say shit like that to um, some terrible some terrible people at my work uh before um I feel like I could do it now I feel like I could do it now and I feel like I could forgive myself for not doing it then um there's also another quote that her partner says to her that I really really um that I really loved and made me really soft um and I was like oh my gosh I <laughs> I hope I hope this character well it's a memoir so it's real I hope this person um doesn't doesn't end up breaking Stephanie's heart um but it was something la along the lines of it being okay uh, to have things in your life that you never get over. I feel like there's, I feel like, again, um, for 
should I be lucky enough to have kids? Clearly, in my past of <laughs> Winter Body Breaks, I talk about wanting to have kids someday, one day. So should I someday, one day, be lucky enough to be a mom? And my kid is watching this. My kids are watching, future kids are watching this. Um, I'm glad that I know at 30, which is still so young, um, that the whole like live life with no regrets, like <laughs> that's, it's good to try, but it's okay to, it's okay to give yourself, um, that honest grace that, yeah, I'm human and I'm going to have some regrets um yeah wow i feel like i'm sharing a lot here <laughs> uh let me know if you are reading this book what my bones know um i'm excited to continue reading it and of course i will give you my reflections as i continue to read it and a full review um do you want a full review as a separate video? I guess I'll do it. I, I could do a full review uh, as a separate video uh, for people who don't want to hear about my life and just want to hear my review of the book. Um, I'll do that when I finish. But wow, I've already been talking for 21 minutes. And I'm, again, really loopy from the COVID booster. So this is it. This is it. But yeah, just really, really grateful for these reflections today. And then also, um, just want to express gratitude if my students ever, any of my students that I've ever had, finds this, finds my channel and watches this video from Thursday, October 26th. Um, if you were a student that had a uh, one-on-one -on -one with me today, it really meant a lot and I really really enjoyed our conversations and it really reminded me why I'm here and that I must be doing something pretty good um I believe the children are a future <laughs> teach them well let them lead the way um one thing about me I'm gonna listen to Whitney um yeah, I feel like I was just reminded today why Greatest Love of All is my go-to karaoke song. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Bye! Uh, all my love, always and always, I'm Trisha Fuerte, and this is Fuerte Body.